on YouTube. It's Gordon at Food for Thought. Um, I'm out doing some fishing again. Um, I'm going to try some bits and pieces new, I suppose. Um, I didn't bring any bait with me. I bought a few spinners, but I'm not really a big spinners type person. Um, hopefully this is catching the... I get one looking in the viewfinder type thing and it's you know, the sun keeps them going in and out. It's a bit of a mixed day. We're supposed to get thunderstorms later on. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to try some bits and pieces today that I've never really tried. I'm going to make up um, a survival spinners type thing. I'll, I'll see if the, these work. Um, it's really weedy around here. Uh, the area that I was wanting to go to, somebody's already there. So obviously you can't just boot them off because you want to make a video. So, um, came back to an area that I fished before, but it's an area that it's good for um, putting out bait because there's a lot of small fish. Um, obviously, anybody that's seen my other videos before, I like catching lots of little fish because it just passes the time of the day. That's part of the part of fishing I like. Um, so anyway, I haven't brought any bait with me, but I'm going to have a look along the bank line um, and see if I see anything. And actually, out the corner of my eye, just got a caterpillar so let me just turn you around and look at this look at this guy is that not stunning now because of the jags on it I'm not gonna go for that because a lot of these guys are poisonous But isn't that just? Hi right, guys, so I've done a bit, of, done a bit of scouting up and down, and there's lots of caterpillars just now. Um, so I'm gonna use a caterpillar as my my bait. Um, lots of bugs around here, so um, now I didn't know if this was a. There are poisonous ones here. That, they're not poisonous as in they'll kill you, but they're poisonous as in they'll give you a rash and that kind of stuff. And you have to watch what you're doing when you're handling these kind of things. But anyway, got a little bobber, just a little one. Um, this is just one of the little cheap things that you just press the button and the, the, the hook bit comes out at the bottom. And then you can move it up and down. Um, anyway, let me just... Right, so let me go on throw this out and then just go and see what what cons perspires. conspires conspires Poker. Came off. Something took it and it got off. Right, so that one got off, but look, got another one. But as you can see, this has got loads of these spines on it as well. So what I'm going to do to be able to, I'm going to use a leaf to hold it so I can put the hook in.
Right, I'm not getting much luck with with those. Um, I'm actually I'm watching. Okay, it's a little blue girl. They're coming over, kind of pecking it a little bit, but they're staying well away from it. So maybe the the fish know that this is poisonous as well. So anyway, what I'm going to try is my just my power bait. I use this as a as a backup. Um, it looks like a a grub. So, give this a try and see what happens. Well, just to show you, you got a back up, you can catch a fish. So, there you go, little perch. Go back up. You can always catch some sort of fish. Um, so always have kind of backups. Um, what I'm finding is, especially around here in this little pond. Okay, they're not big fish. I mean, if I was to catch about five or six of these perch, that's a meal. Um, let me just throw them back. Anyway, and I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a little video on how to make I'll just bring it up uh, how to make this into a fishing lure. Oh no. Anyway, I I think my battery's gonna go out. Oh it's like this camera's a pain in the Anyway, I hopefully I'll get something caught on tape. Okay? I'll talk to you soon.